I will directly come to the one question that you had written a paper called, it was titled From Non-Congressism to Non-BJPism. So, can you shed some more light on it? Like, what do you mean? Like, how did that shift happen? No, no, the people have shifted. Okay. It was for a small audience okay. of uh, Loya socialist hmm. because Loya is accused of uh, uh, legitimizing RSS, BJP because non-Congressism had an alliance with CPI, with Jansang in it. Mm. At that time, BJP was called Jansang. Mm. And <coughs> it had a very big dream mm. by Lohia, mm. which I now feel was caused. He could dream that big because he didn't know the grassroots reality of BJP, RSS. Okay. And he thought they could be converted to pro-people patriotism hmm. and not the jingoistic nationalism and majoritarianism. So, ambition was of this kind that all the constituent parties of non-Congress non spec spectrum, for example, Swatant Party will not be liberal only in this, but social cultural terms also will become a liberal party and will adopt social democracy as its creed. Uh, Jansang, they thought, will easily become because it was party of lower middle class and middle classes. Although its initial funding of RSS came from Peshwas and erstwhile yes. uh, <coughs> kings and queens of that time when it was formed in October 1925. Yes. So, Loya had this dream that it will be able to sort of socialize them, uh, to put it in metaphorical language, in Congress values, national values. Mm -hmm. So, non-Congressism paradoxically was an expansion of Congress values or okay. what were the national values, mm -hmm. but it didn't succeed for various historical reasons, um, socialists you know, <clears throat> all movements have this limitation whenever they are able to accomplish their stated goals, after that they go into decline. All movements, uh, when they uh, fulfill their immediate yes. stated goals, mm -hmm. then after that they, they are at a, almost at a loss yes. what to do. Mm -hmm. Unless there is a visionary leader like Congress, who talks about one step at a time and then changes the strategy every time situation changes. But this was Lohia's dream of empowering the artisan communities, agriculture communities. So, he was talking about the caste annihilation along with positive affirmation policies for uh, OBC communities. Yes. And when that happened eventually on 7th August 1990, uh, socialist movement after that almost lost its larger goals and yes, it really got co-opted into the mainstream political culture. So, that gave a space to BJP to have Somnath Rath Yatras and all kinds yes. of Ram Mandir agitation and eventually December 92. Yes. Uh, and the way they whipped up anti-Muslim feelings among masses and the way Mandal was implemented, it created almost a sense of anxiety and sense of loss of power among upper caste. Hmm. So, they got sort of attracted to BJP. towards BJP. Yes. Now, that phase is long past hmm. and now, uh, as I had said, non-BJPism now, people have adopted it. Hmm. All those parties, which uh, segments of society, I mean, who had supported BJP, have come back to the national mainstream. Hmm. Most of the Dalits are now voting against BJP. Yes. So, non-BJP at the level of masses is playing out itself, non-BJPism. Now, the next phase would be to envision a future for India, whether BJP uh, loses at the center or not, okay. that phase is over. 
phase of hegemony of majoritarianism it mm. it has to decline further and further okay. till it it reaches almost a uh, place where its sting will be totally lost so this very interesting how you put the the the, the decline of your this thing and the rise of uh, bjp and the so it had a very good round the, the, the round you know a hegemonical time so now they have completed two terms like with almost absolute majority of course absolute majority so now again we are in a historical uh, election so what do you see coming after so how will this pan out like and now BJP this will be more Congress, <coughs> how will, how are they going to react to now that? the future unfoldment will not be confined only to the party politics okay it will be part of the larger polity hmm. where new segments who, who were only mobilized as voters hmm. be it uh, most backward communities or mandal communi- upper hmm. sections of uh, mandal communities or adivasis they were mobilized by one or the other party hmm. uh, to vote for them yes now they are active agents in this election dalit leadership has participated on its own without being member of any of the party they are voting against bjp and they are campaigning for it they are revising their position on baba saheb ambedkar uh, basically focusing on his perennial aspects of his thinking mm-hmm. on not uh, what he represented as community leader of Ma- mahars but as leader of the oppressed communities uh, mm-hmm. uh, all yes. over india as well as even universal application of his thought that is where dalits have already moved in so it's a next phase similarly ebc uh, yeah. extremely backward. backward communities a section of them is with india alliance but another section being organized by rss reviving their old myths and you know only the issues of faith in a many times in a regressive manner hmm. rather than in a progressive forward looking uh, liberation theological manner w- where gandhi was also uh, a sanatni hindu and he was mobilizing all these people in a liberation theological framework yes. he has said at one place that i, I am not interested in politics i am hmm. interested only in moksha hmm. and moksha is attained by serving the truth and truth can be achieved by serving the last person the daridra yes. narayana so now this notion of moksha demolishes the barrier between the theist and atheist yes. god believing and non believing people so mm-hmm. this kind of liberation theology rss not only not believes in but is enemy of yes. that is how nathuram godse killed because he was the great gandhi was the greatest enemy of decadent hinduism and new emerging liberative theological positions of hinduism ishwar allah tere naam sabko sanmati de bhagwan now you see uh, mr modi talks about vasudev kutumbakam but uh, uh, half the population he doesn't own up as his own population so this kind of schism is now being understood by various sections of society not just the progressive upper caste okay. but other oppressed communities also and from the ground there is a kind of alliance in, uh, becoming on its own into a bigger alliance ma- marginalized into a majority so you are saying not the dalits and ebcs so and obcs and obcs yeah so and minorities huh, the minorities and all, tribals all, all, so the all this this bigger section is coming out of some of them were part of uh, the voters of bjp they are coming out of it on their own yes. it's not as a only just as a vote bank or a political entity exactly. but as uh, as a group they are coming out of their own and uh, having they, uh, a vision of their own oh, politics 
so that is the, so that they the, almost leading themselves yes yes so that's no outside I, leaders are necessary ha, ha, this is what i was trying to yes. get into not like yeah. one particular party is not yeah. like uh, no no uh, party or no alliance but, it ha. is their own vision and ambition and aspiration that they are supporting india alliance so that will be the that so that is an is that a very optimistic view of it or no it's a realistic it's yes, on sir. the ground happening it's on the ground so uh, optimistic would be that if it really uh, results in actual material transformation hmm. in everyday life of uh, these communities okay. that will be optimistic and i am optimistic about that yes that is that is something you, we all <laughs> want to be yes. that's where the action will lead yeah, yeah. thank you so much sir these are the two things that i really wanted to thank you. thank you thank you mattashtu vishesha video galannu nodalu mattu hosa video gala bagge tiliyalu idina.com youtube channel subscribe maadi mattu bell icon click maadi